people in here, so I guess he's just trying to pull up a different screen. Am I muted? Are you guys unable to hear me? Might check one, might check two. I don't think I'm muted. So might people keep interrupting. Hello, hello. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Something happened with my internet. Hey, <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah, I'm back. It, it's in here. Uh, yeah. Tame, he said he was going to pull up a different screen, and uh, I haven't heard from him since then, so. Yeah, sure. So sorry. Something just happened. The internet. No worries. He was asking something, and I was like, oh my god. There was robber voices and, you know, other stuff. Um, I will write to him. So yeah, long story short, uh, if you see my screen, yeah. Yeah, I see it. All right, you have your screen back? Yeah, yeah. So sorry, there was something with the internet. <laughs> yeah, you you were asking something, and I just my internet dropped off. So I'm back. Uh, what was your question? Because you know, because of malfunction. You were asking something, but I I didn't hear anything because of rubber voices and you know other stuff. Same. I'm. I was setting you up. So. Uh... Okay. Yeah, it's it's great. We can just finalize the whole thing. Uh, you were asking about Doge Prize. Just to summarize, you you can you, you have tons of analysts here in, in Discord. You can read charts. You know, look for charts. Maybe listen to some good analysis. Uh, but the best option would be just to form your personal opinion every time. And you might be right about this. You might be wrong about this. <clears throat> you live and learn. And that's, that's, that's the part of the story and, and your journey. But if you want to know my opinion, yeah, I'm just kind of short on Doge for sure. Just for the short term or for the long term? Uh, for both, I would say. I, <laughs> the problem is... The whole support of Doge will end when the market, the, the, the huge market uh, crash will come. And, well, the whole journey which you had with Doge to 75 cents was possible because of people interest and people, well, let's just say hype and your support, guys. But as for fundamental things, well, I would, be, you know, it will, it will caught me by surprise if Doge will, will be doing something crazy. And I, and again, it might do something crazy if market would be good, if BTC would be good, and you know, will be pretty bullish to return to seven, sixty thousand again. But Doge can 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 exist, you know, by itself without basically, you know. Uh, Without BDC. And well, short term shows, let's just say we might really go down to 28 cents, maybe in a couple of days, maybe this day, maybe like just the next day. Who knows? It might really start, you know, going to 40 cents and everything would be bullish. I don't stand for some precise uh, scenario. You could, you, you need to be like really flexible. If you see that Doge is, is pretty bearish because. I would say, well, many people here, they were so, I wouldn't say desperate, they, they were voting for Doge to return to 75 cents, even higher. But when he heard some news from Mark Cuban saying the Doge will go to $1, become some sort of uh, stable coin, well, you understand the whole, the whole trail, right? <laughs> There, there, there are things which you'd like to believe. Uh, the same story with the save mode, if you would like to know. There are many people who shield Save Moon saying, well, they do crazy, <laughs> crazy predictions, even one cent. And I saw people saying, okay, I hold seven trillions of Save Moon. Well, dude, if you hold seven trillion of Save Moon, if it goes to one cent, imagine how much, how, how much money would you have? 
it's like how many 70 70 billion dollars right okay <laughs> yeah it's so crazy yeah because because the greed and i don't know greed kills all rational thinking and subconscious and people start believing and and it, it, <laughs> It became a drug just to look at... Well, just Google Safe Moon. You will find thousands, hundreds, millions of videos about that. About how will it go to one cent? Why, why will it do that? Not in the one cent, but in two cents, a dollar even. So it's so crazy. And, and, and because there, there, there are so many new people and they were pumped and hide with this stories about when, when one person invested $14 in Safe Moon, and if he didn't sell that, he would have million dollars, right? And it, it's, it's, it's pretty easy to believe, and it, it, you need just to understand that the, the, you need just to lend down yourself and be real, even with the Safe Moon, and even with the Doge. Yes, it was a huge manipulation. If you were in the very beginning, you're a good sport. You you probably made hot and X. Well done. The same the same story with the Matic. If you just bought it for one cent, because nobody knew that Matic would go that high to two point sixty five, and you sold it on the top. You're a good sport. Well done. Because I didn't do this. Could you open your Bitcoin, your Doge to Bitcoin pair again? Because I'm using Binance.us, so it's a little bit different. I just want to see your whole configuration. Yeah, let me just do our chart to you. Like, I was able to view all your trades and stuff that you made from that link. Yeah, you can just basically not even copy. So you can use this one if you just like to share your bots with the audience with a new one. If just you, you see a newcomer, just to uh, not even to check in, just to have a sneak peek on your bots. And if you, if you click into any field or any tab, you'll be forwarded to a sign-up uh, form and Tame's referral link would be already inserted into this. So just make it more transparent for people and easy to bring in. So if it goes higher, that's great. That, well, especially with the Doge, we would need just to find some great entries in with the bot, have, you know, 2.53% grid spacing and super wide red grid. Let's just say to $2 or $3 because nobody knows how high might it go? I don't do this manipulation, guys. I didn't know how high might it go. I just, you know, read charts and that's it. Because it's way easier to me just to at least understand where it might go and why will it do that. These are the questions which you need to answer to yourself. If you never used any indications, indicators, whatever, and you entered something, you did it subconsciously or just believed to some influencer, let's just say, because he said, well, or just analyst like me, uh, li like I did. Because I said that, you know, there, there are some lines and for some reasons, for some formations, they serve as a support area. And then when it, the whole formation flipped over, they, they start, you know, they start uh, forming a huge resistance areas and blah 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 their stuff yeah but it's my way just interpreting the chart you can use different indicators different uh lines just trending oscillators whatever there are many analysts hundred combinations of this you can read it differently because trading is a combination of positive and negative deals you can do nothing with this. You just need just to address the reality and understand that roughly you'll be having 50% of positive trades and 50% of negative trades. And in the end, you need just, how can you benefit from it? You need to maximize your profitable deals and cut your negative deals and cut losses, let's just say. And you'll be, you'll be positive in the long term. Because you're playing against the same people in exchange. So that was it. Thank you. Yeah, anytime, sure. Um, so, Tame, that's probably it for today, right? 
Sorry, I was setting up my bot again. Yeah, it's okay. That's it for today. I mean, we're done or just... Oh, uh, yeah, that's that's good for the day. Do you have something to do right now? Yeah, I mean, just, yeah. I'll probably, you know, go spend my time, you know, my time with the family because, as you can see, it's 7 p.m. my time. Before and... you go, can I check out your Doge USDT one more time? Yeah, sure. Uh, Just the whole config. And you have it trailing up, so does that mean, like, USDT will rise compared to Doge? No, I mean, trailing up, it will start putting new grids if price will go over 60 cents. But it doesn't make sense. I mean, I will redo the whole bot if, if, if Doge will go up. I will redo this. I will cancel or just close it and just make a new, new brand new one. With the, with, let's just say like this one. Which I've already done 8%, by the way. Well, nice. bigger red zone, uh, probably decent grid spacing and other stuff. So it's 8%, which means, let's just say we are at 11%, it's already have 8%. So, because we, we know the coins are not going up like a straight line, and it has some, let's just say this, let's say low, down, up, down, up. It's a perfect place to, it's place and situation just to... Uh, Execute some trades and farm some bot profit to help you to grow your you know value with the change. So right. thank you very much. Yeah, Tim, I I really gotta go. Uh, I think we will touch the base probably next week just to see how Doge Tether pair will play out. I I'm, I really want to go lower just to see how the whole situation, the whole negativity might be played out with us. And we'll basically, we'll show you great, great bots in the action. Doesn't sound like a good plan. All right. Well, thank you for that lesson. I'll try to upload the uh, video on YouTube. Have a yeah. good day. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Peace. Bye-bye. Let's go down to the TA crypto channel. All right. And what a happy, peppy, positive jingle. Hey, thanks. That, I, that's what I was going for. Like sometimes on NPR, they have these like, these just these little news breaks and they have some kind of upbeat jingle like that. So that's, that's what I was going for.